All right, so if I'm going to do it, um, I got one from a friend. These were very hard to come by. Very, very hard. The original classic stuff. I did a Raphael. Now I want to do my glance show because I found another one at a Comic Con. It wasn't too expensive at all. So, oh, and by the way, welcome, welcome, people, new people. This is Comey 101 Asburn. And, uh, eyes looking forward, looking right at me. And then you got the one eyes is looking straight up in the sky. At me. Look at that. I've been kind of curious. Like, should I open them? I mean, they're real. This is not a bootleg stuff because, well, that's be kind of weird. So the chuck's still the same. The hands are still the same. And like I said, well, actually... The M is all mixed up. Perfect straight M. Curry M. I don't think it's supposed to do that. But. This one looks like at the back. This is like way before Bebop and Rock City came into the picture. And then ended it. I see. G2158 And it looks like it's Actually I think it's a 6 that G Well no actually Yeah G2139 Decision 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 I may have to open up the perfect one and as for this one, his eyes sticking straight up and his arms all crooked, we'll keep that in. Usually, usually the error ones of the package is actually the one that's going to be worth a lot more money because it's a mess up. Like they screw up on something. Wrong names, so worth, believe it or not, it's still going to be worth a lot of money. And I'm seeing on here... The box is damaged right there. So, yeah, damage is right here in the corner. However, this box is actually in perfect detail. So, yeah, we're going to open up the perfect one so that the perfect one would look nice next to my Raphael, the one I did. I would, underneath this video, after you get done watching this, I will put all the links of the classic stuff like the movie Turtles, Bebop and Roxanne, and of course Raphael. So, I guess we go ahead and open it. I've been wanting to do this for quite a while, so. First line ever. And you were like big and target, and that's, you know, I can never find them anymore. So, that's what the cover looks like. The original kind of look to it. See that? I like that. That's how they're supposed to do it. And then you got this piece right here. This is what it's supposed to look like. Now, you can see the gel part, like the metallic paint gel smothered and everything. Now, you gotta be careful with this because if it's a blooper, or a blooper, bootleg, all this would be blue. Like a baby bluish kind of color mixed in there because they can't get the color just right. So, this came out in 2012, Viacon. There's that California mint paint. Here's G2151. Did I, did I say that right? No, it's 58. How weird. Okay, so, yeah, remember. If you have this on eBay or you're looking up something, they won't have all that dark grayish color. It would just be either all gray, or dark, or a lighter color. And the hand print right here would be very awkward looking. But mostly, if it has that blue look to it, it's fake. So make sure it has this color on it. Okay, guys? Give it a little heads up on that. Oh, my God. It has those ties. 
Okay. And I know I said it so many times. Blah, 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 blah. Keep these. Keep these in your collection. Seriously. That's awesome. And you might, you never know what's going to happen in the future. You can change it. And expressed by the original TMT animated series 1988. Then the series came out in 87. I don't know. And it was 34 points of traction. So we have all these movements you could do and everything. Ooh. So, yep. Yeah. I actually opened up the Comic Con version. I was like, I was like, I couldn't remember which one I had because it's been a while. I was like, oh yeah, I don't have my banjo open. Let's do that instead. Oh my god, you got like one, two, three, four stupid ties. I swear they do this on purpose on me. Alright, I'm gonna put the camera down because I can't do this with one hand. It's okay. Ugh. Okay, I finally got those stupid things out. Jeez, man. you looking right at me see i'm so glad you guys actually did the whole angry look not that stupid smiley thing i really 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 i know a lot of people out there are like but i like the smiley thing i don't like the smiley faces i've never been a fan of the smiley faces i just thought that was, that was way too toony and too weird and then i liked them angry like they were supposed to be like in the old cartoon, the original series, they were all always smiling and stuff like that. I don't know what they were thinking, but anyways. So yes, we got to finally got his face. Got this all. What's going on with his headband? What's your headband looks like? Does it look like a propeller. Yeah, it does. All right, cool. So as you can see, it has a little rubber feel to it. Yay! Head can move. Different directions, tilt it a little bit, and yeah, I'm pretty sure something already could take off the head because it has a little ball underneath it. You can pose him, move his hips while his chest is out. The belt seems a little bit more has a nice rub to it. You can see it right, right there. I don't know what's going on with that. The M looks fantastic on this one, as you can see. The Raphael one was actually kind of tight. I couldn't figure out what's going on with that. The other thing is, there's actually two different things. The the bootleg the foot didn't ha could didn't has a, doesn't have these at all. Like these little joints on the ankles for some strange reason. And then the other joints like these ones right here. See how it sticks in? It's supposed to look like that. But if they're sticking out, like, I mean, like, really, like, not like this. I mean, if they're, like, really sticking out where you can see it, like, do we need to do this? But, like, okay, be careful with that. Got joints right here on his thigh, his knees, ankles, toes. I don't know. I, I mean, I'm starting to get liking it a little bit. The whole joints on the fingers, I guess, in a way. But I'm still not a big fan of it because... This thing right here, the knuckle part. I mean, when you do that, it just looks absolutely weird, to tell you the truth. I don't know what it is. I just don't care for loose hands like that. I mean, I don't know. That's just me. But it just looks weird. But yeah, you got joints on your wrists. Arm things actually do bend and move around a little bit. Got the elbow, the shoulders. Of course, here's the back part where you can put the chucks. So, the reason why I don't care much for these hand joints because they don't really hold the weapons very well. I mean, is that supposed to happen? No, because you gotta make it tighter. See? 
that's what it's supposed to do, like right there. But if you're going to play with it, move it around or whatever, it will get a little bit loose and the chain might come off. So be gentle with the chain part, people. So. I can hear Christmas music outside and it's driving me a little bit crazy. So, and of course the bolt underneath his feet, dozen 12, fits perfect on these things so you can balance them right on top. I might want to keep looking for, what, what am I missing? I'm missing Donatello and Leonardo, no I got, yeah, Donatello and Leonardo. Um, you gotta be careful, when they first got popular, I, I, I saw a whole bunch of these. It's just, I don't like the fact that their eyes are all cross-sided, one eye is looking that way. I mean, it was horribly done, and that's why I was so picky to find these, because I want my toys with perfect eyes, okay? Don't want the cross side. don't want the derf derf thing going on or anything like that. I hope nobody gets offended by that, but I want it with perfect eyes looking, or like, perfect, like this. Or even like that, looking straight up, like he's looking at the techno drill or something, you know? That's what I like. But I found a Donatello one, and his eyes were all jacked up. And they should at least, I don't know. I've seen people actually repainting these, white out the eyes. And honestly, it looks so cool when they white out the eyes. But since these are very hard to find these days, and they cost so much back then, and now they're costing even more, I don't know. Just, it's like I said, do what I'm doing. Get two, okay? Get two. One you could open, and one you could keep it in the package, okay, guys? Seriously, you gotta do something like that, okay? So, hopefully, Comic Con that's coming around actually will have the other ones. So, I actually, had a full set, okay? <sighs> so, put your comments down if you notice anything different, if you notice anything weird, and if you do own the bootleg ones. Take a picture, tag me or whatever, so that other people can see it as well. Like, whoa, okay, this is different. Um, I think the shell on the back part was actually had like a, what was that, like a darkerish, bluish color shell for the bootleg one. And the front of it, it was all like this fire red, orange color. And that's another way you could tell it was a bootleg. Less joints, like I said, all the joints, so these things will be sticking out. Just remember that. And if you caught anything else that I did not mention about bootleg stuff, please put it on the comments so other people actually could keep their eyes open for that as well. Don't get me wrong, I like bootleg stuff. I really do. It's just I want the real deal before I get the fake one. So if you have any comments, please put it down. Please tag me or whatever with photos of your bootleg stuff or what or whatnot. So um, that's it. That's it for now. I just want to give you a little heads up what's out there. Or maybe some of you forgot about these things. These are cool to pose with. You know, to take pictures of. So that's it. Until then, take care of yourself. And happy hunting. Share this video. And like the video. Hope you like this review. And I hope I could give you all some good information. But yeah, I know it's Leo. Or Mikey's shelf art is kind of... More loose than the Raph. Raph, it took forever to ban him and everything. Alright, that's it. Happy hunting, people. See you later.